Good morning, children of God. Let us pray. In Jesus' name. I invite God the Father, Yahweh, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit to our midst. In Jesus' name, Father Almighty, use me as an instrument. Touch all the lives of those that hear this, including I, O Lord. Let no weapon form prosper against us. And Father Almighty, let this word be a good fruit in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. So today, we're going to continue the story of Moses. Um, and this time around, we're going to... Um, look at what happened about three months after God delivered his people in other words the people of Israel from um, from slavery okay so um, you can find this and I'm just going to be glancing um, right here at my notes or rather the Bible um, you can you can find this in Exodus 19 through 20 so Exodus 19 through 20 um, Basically, I'll just give you a synopsis of what um, I'm about to read. So basically, God um, gives um, the people some ground rules on how to serve him, on how he wants us to act with each other and to him, how he wants to be revered um, and respected. And so I'm going to begin reading. This is a new King, King James Version. In the third month after the children of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt, on the same day they came to the wilderness of Sinai, for they had departed from Rephidim, had come to the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. So Israel camped there before the mountain. And Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. So Moses came and called for the elders of the people and laid before them all these words which the Lord commanded him. Then all the people answered together and said, All that the Lord has spoken we will do. So Moses brought back the words of the people to the Lord. And the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I come to you in the thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with you and believe you forever. So Moses told the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes, and let them be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set bounds for the people all around, saying, Take heed to yourselves that you do not go up to the mountain or touch its base. Whoever touches the mountain shall surely be put to death. Not a hand shall touch him, but he shall surely be stoned or shot with an arrow, whether man or beast he shall not leave. When the trumpet sounds when the trumpet sounds long, they shall come near to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people, and they washed their clothes, and he said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not come near your wives. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were th thunderings and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain. And the sound of the trumpet was very loud, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet with God. And they stood at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Its smoke ascended with the smoke of a furnace, like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the blast of the trumpet sounded long and became louder and louder, Moses spoke and God answered him by voice. Then the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain, and the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest they break through to gaze at the Lord, and many of them perish. Also let the priests who come near the Lord consecrate themselves, lest the Lord break out against them. 
But Moses said to the Lord, The people cannot come up to the Mount Sinai, for you warned us, saying, Set bounds around the mountain and consecrate it. Then the Lord said to him, Away, get down and then come up, you and Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord, lest he break up, break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and spoke to them. Now this is chapter 19 and we're going to move on to Exodus 20 now. I read. I'm sorry, Exodus 20, I'm going to um, read it now. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them, not serve them, for I, the Lord your God, I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. But showing mercy to thousands, to those who love me, and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in, the six, for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed, this, blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is given you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not be a false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. Now all the people witnessed the thunderings, the lightning flashes, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they trembled and stood afar off. Then they said to Moses, You speak with us. And we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. And Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for God has come to test you, and that, as, that his fear may be before you, so that you may not sin. So the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, You have sinned that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall not make anything to be with me. Gods of silver or gods of gold you shall not make for yourselves. An altar of earth you shall make for me. And you shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. And if you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stone. For if you use your tool on, tool on it, you have profaned it. Nor shall you go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness may not be exposed on it. May, the God, bless, may God bless his word, and I pray that he ministers to your heart exactly what his word meant, what it means, and what is speaking personally to you. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name, amen.